hi guys here we have the apple macbook pro and in this video we are going to show you how you could install a windows os onto this mac using the free tool that is the bootcamp application instead of going for a paid application like the parallels so let us just get started here you can find out more information about the mac let us just close the same and before you get started you need to have a windows os in the form of a dot iso which you need to transfer into a pen drive a 4GB pen drive would be pretty much enough and then you need to first connect the same to your Apple MacBook so first you need to access the USB pen drive which you have just connected and copy the file which you have downloaded earlier onto your Mac's desktop this would be a pretty big file because this is a complete OS file as you can see this is around 3.74GB do make a note that during this installation process you would be asked with how much space do you want to allocate for the windows and how much space do you want to allocate for the mac so here this is a very important question because in case you plan to use windows as your primary os then it's suggested to go for around 70 to 75 percent storage area for this drive and the balance to the mac because the main primary plan is to use windows onto this macbook So this would take a while for completing and meanwhile let us just proceed with the other steps you need to start an application called bootcamp assistant let us just run the same and here this is the bootcamp assistant application which would allow you to in install with microsoft windows on a intel based mac by downloading the necessary support software creating a partition on your disk for windows and then starting the windows installer in case you have any issues you can refer to apple.com slash support and check out other information so before you back up before you proceed with this you need to back up your disk before partitioning or installing windows if you have a portable computer make sure the power adapter is connected so fine in our case we are on battery though it's on 100% charge so we are ready to go let us click on continue and here it would say that the following task would be done that is creating a windows 7 os disk for which you need a blank usb drive and a windows 7 os image the ISO image is being downloaded here while the USB drive is already connected which would be formatted and made it blank next the software download the latest windows support software from apple and then install the windows 7 os so let us just check out the process, progress of the same here you need to click on continue and then it will ask you to select the ISO file which is already downloaded onto your desktop and has been automatically selected so you can just proceed with the same once the file is completely copied and the destination disk is the one which we had connected here as you can see here onto a mac so during this process the usb pen drive would be completely formatted and would be given a name that is win install so let us just proceed with the process because the file has been transferred let us just first select the iso file it is selected next destination drive is already selected click on continue in case you keep getting different errors like could not find space or space not available in the drive then you should finally get a 16 gb drive like we just got it here and then restart the whole process of the bootcamp so connect the drive first and then run the bootcamp application click on continue select the it would ask you if you are ok with deleting or erasing the complete data in the usb drive click on continue and then the same would be formatted as you can see on the screen it's actually copying the windows files which is again around 3.5 gb of data onto this usb flash drive it's generally suggested if you, uh, if you could use a foster flash drive to transfer these files, files quickly you may get this kind of error which says that your computer isn't connected to a power source you can click on continue on battery power to proceed with the same and then all the windows support software would be downloaded from apple.com which would consist of all the drivers 
the graphic softwares and the sound drivers now it's saving the windows support software following which the bootcamp assistant software task would be completed and the windows would the macbook pro would restart and then initiate the windows 7 installation procedure so you can see the progress of the same which is going on on the screen the whole process would take somewhere around 30 minutes to 45 minutes depending on your internet speed the drive speed through which the files are copied and also the computer's processing speed now it would ask you to enter your password for this specific computer you know to ensure that the admin is performing this task and now you would be asked to create a partition for windows right now as you can see this specific macbook has a total storage of 250 gb out of which 224 is available for free and this is a 251 gb flash storage so we have an option to move this somewhere around have a space of 20 gb on windows or you can increase it depending on how you could how you would like to use this mac so let us just go for something like this where a total of 200 gb would be allocated to the windows and 50 gb will available for the mac versus because our target is to primarily use the windows os on this mac so once you selected the partition size click on install and then it will create a new party it would create a new partition onto your mac os x disk and allocate the space to the same once that's done the macbook pro would actually reboot i would say booting from boot camp assistant created usb drive so the drive which was earlier created would start loading the windows files and then the actual process would start off now the windows os installation would begin here yeah, as you can see starting windows this is the initial setup it would ask us to select the language time and format click on install now it would ask you to select the drive now ask you which form, uh, operating system do you want to install we would go for x64 select the license agreement click on next install a new copy into this drive since this drive is not available for installation let me just zoom into this so that it's clear for you to understand so here as you can see we have 150 185 gb of 186 gb of space available which is under boot camp but it says this drive cannot be installed it has to be partitioned for ntfs so click on drive options advance and then delete the same or you can format the same once you format this drive would be available for you to install the windows click on next and then the files copying and the installation would proceed this would take again a while because this is a very long process taking somewhere around another 15 to 20 minutes